So this is your goal, this is what you want. And think of lines on the page as levels of vibration. You came into the room down here, because this is your present result. Oh, that's sorry, you won't be able to see that. You came into the room, you know, now, that didn't mean you're in a low vibration. It just means that your goal exists in a frequency beyond the one that you're presently living in. But through that activity, we actually got you tapped into the vibration up here. Make sense? And you actually experienced it. Like, in that moment, that is real. Like, it was real. It felt real, didn't it? And did the, how did it feel between the first time and the third time you did it? Different. Different? What got easier, got better, mm -hmm. got more confident. More confident. Um, what about the information? Were you able to tap into more information? Yeah, adding new things. Adding new things. And you know why? Because up in this vibration, in this frequency, you can connect with thoughts and ideas that you don't have access to when you're living down here. And that's why you got, you got information. You, you created a future memory. Now, that is all you need to do. An exercise like that, you can do it at home. Um, when Mary Morrissey and Bob Proctor teach this, it's like you're standing here and you just take four steps. One, two, three, four. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Bob. I haven't seen you in ages. I've got to tell you what's happened. I've bought the PC12 and we're living in this beautiful <laughs> estate. And that's all you have to do to tap into the vibration of your goal. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to get And that you're creating a future memory. You're actually creating a feeling and an idea within your body of the goal already manifested. And any idea, anything that you pick up out of that as a stepping stone or you, I should call that person or I should do this, you want to treat that like pure gold because that is you hooked into the vibration, you're in that frequency, you're in that reality. And that's how you get the next piece that everyone says, oh, but how do I do it? But how do I do it? How do I accomplish the goal? You've got to be there. You've got to think like that person. You've got to act like that person. You've got to um, be that person vibrationally. And that activity allows you to create what we refer to as future memories. And that future memory is of your goal, experienced in reality, and therefore it is real. In your imagination, it is real. And where you go in imagination, you go in real life. But you actually took the picture of what you visualised, you tapped into that through the exercises leading up, then you physically moved into that vibration and act as technique, became that person, and you experienced the, the feeling of it. You know, like one of the questions that I get asked all the time, how do I feel it if it hasn't happened? That's how you do it. You feel it. 